This video is in partnership with CoverGirl. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Angel Marino, also known as Mac Daddy. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to achieve this look using all CoverGirl products. Now this is the first time that I've ever done a video like this, which I'm really, really excited about. And I thought that it would be kind of fun to play off of the matte trend. As you guys know, I'm all about the glow, dewy skin, but in this video, we're gonna focus on all matte textures. I'm gonna be using some brand new CoverGirl products, including the brand new True Blend Matte Made Foundation and their new Exhibitionist Lipsticks. So if you guys want to see how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. So before we start with foundation, I'm gonna be using this brand new CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Primer. Now this is a skin smoothing primer, so I'm really excited to see how it's just gonna make my skin look buttery smooth before I apply my foundation. And I just like to take a little bit of this and I like to just kind of work it. I start from the center of my face and then slowly just kind of blend it out to the rest of my skin. Mm, it smells really good too. Since this is a smoothing primer, it is gonna give my skin more of a smoother appearance. And the primer will also help to allow the makeup to stay on a little longer and to visibly just look a lot more smoother. Now this is one of the things that I'm the most excited about. It's the brand new CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. Now this is a 12 hour wear foundation which is great for someone like me if you're always on the go and have long days because it will stay in place for 12 hours. They launched 40 different shades which is absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of CoverGirl for being so inclusive in their shade range. And when I tell you guys the spectrum from light to dark, really hits the nail on the head. I couldn't be more excited to use this foundation. The shade that I'm gonna be using is M80. This is a medium tone foundation. I kind of did a little swatching and I felt like this one was gonna be the one that was best suitable for me. I do like looking slightly more tan um, and this was slightly more tan, so let's give this baby a go. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my beauty blender and I'm just gonna start to press it into my skin. The great thing about this foundation is that it is oil free and it is transfer resistant. And as far as the coverage goes, you can wear it a little bit more sheer or you can build it up and layer it a little bit more. And it doesn't matter how much you pack on or how much coverage you want, it's a very, very comfortable wear foundation. So now that I have blended this out and applied it, I have to say that I'm really, really liking this foundation. I think it looks really, really great on the skin. You guys know I'm all about the glowy, dewy skin. So when I decided to do this video, I was a little like, oh, I'm gonna have to use a matte foundation. But I actually like the way this looks and I like how comfortable it is. And I've layered on a couple of times this foundation and I think it looks great. It's not creasing. It's nice and full coverage. Well, I made it full coverage, but I don't think it looks like full coverage. I think it looks really pretty and like my skin. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. When I did a swatch it, I did notice that there were different undertones. For today, I'm gonna be using this one that's a little bit more yellow tone because I wanted to almost highlight my face as well. So we are going to give this baby a few clicks. The product pours out the top like that on like a little brush and we are going to apply it pretty much everywhere where we want to highlight and conceal. So I like to go underneath the eyes, right in here. I like to create more of that brightness like in the center of the face, so I'll concentrate more product right in here, then kind of lightly we'll blend out towards the cheekbones. I'm gonna take that same beauty blender that I was using and I'm just going to stipple this out. It blends out really, really nicely. It doesn't look too heavy underneath my eyes. I know that sometimes when using concealers it can look really heavy, really creasy, really cakey, but this looks really nice and smooth. I wanna add a little more brightness, so I'm actually gonna click up a little more product and apply it underneath my eye area. I'm also going to highlight right in the center of my forehead and we're gonna blend it out. So I'm pretty much done blending out that concealer. I am going to lightly set it with a powder. I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. This is in the shade 710 Classic Ivory. 
to the lightest shade that I had and I'm just gonna take a stiff fluffy brush we're not picking up too much powder because again we're not trying to build any coverage I just want to lightly lightly set it so I'm almost gonna just like tap off the excess on my brush and then I'm just lightly going to press underneath my eyes I'm lightly gonna do the same thing on my forehead where I applied the concealer just right in the center here so as I'm sitting here doing this, I am noticing that the foundation is setting a little bit more. I feel like it's getting slightly more matte, which is not a bad thing. It's just an indicator that I don't necessarily have to feel like I need to set my entire face and my foundation with a powder, which is always nice. So I'm actually going to skip setting my face. I'm just setting underneath my eyes where I've applied the concealer and I'm gonna move on straight to a little bit of bronzing and contouring. I really like these Vitalist Healthy Powders because I do feel that they are multi-purpose powders. You can really use them for anything. I'm gonna take two different shades and actually use these to bronze and contour my face. I'm gonna be taking shade 742 Medium Beige and shade 745 Warm Beige. As you guys can see, the Warm Beige is a little bit more golden, a little deeper, so I'm gonna kind of toggle back and forth with bronzing and contouring my face. I'm gonna be taking a big fluffy brush for this, and I've picked up some of that powder, and I'm just going to start to blend and buff on my skin. I think these powders blend out really, really nicely. So if you use different tones to like set foundation or set concealer or bronze contour, they work cohesively really nicely together because then your makeup doesn't look like you can tell where things start and stop. Everything is just really, really seamless. Can't forget about the forehead. I really like to make sure that you get an overall warmth when it comes to my makeup. So I always make sure that I get my forehead and that it marries nicely along the perimeters of my face into my cheeks. So I feel really, really good about this. I actually like what these two shades are doing for me. And like I said, it's really simple. I'm just picking up these two shades on my brush, and then I'm just going to town with blending this out. But overall, I really, really like how this looks. I like how smooth my skin looks. And although it is more of a matte finish, it doesn't look dry, which is why I'm assuming it's called Vitalist Healthy Powder because your skin just looks nice and healthy. Now that my skin is all done, we're gonna move on to eyes. I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl Lid Lockup Eyeshadow Primer. Now the way that I like to use this is I like to open it and then I like to actually roll some of this product off onto the back of my hand and then I'll take it with my finger and apply it onto my eyelid. Now with this primer, a little bit goes a long way. So that is why I like to use my finger because I like to be able to physically touch and feel how much of that primer is going on my lid. For my eyes today, I'm gonna to be using this True Naked Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I really wanna create something that really gives my eyes a nice contour and definition, and this Nude Palette has a beautiful shade range. You can really take this from day to night, but at the same time, there's also a lot of nice matte shades that will create beautiful contours to your eyes. I'm gonna start off with a bigger blending fluffy brush, and I'm going to take this shade right in here, this is one of the lightest shades in the palette. It's a nice soft brown, and I'm just gonna start blending this into my crease to create a little more definition. I'm literally taking this in like a side-to-side -side motion, and as I'm moving my brush side-to-side, -side, I'm also moving my brush in a circular motion, really, really allowing that shadow to blow out and really look nice and diffused. So as you guys can see, I'm definitely getting a lot more definition to my eyes and comparing the two, this is really starting to take a nice shape. So we're basically just gonna keep blending this out and do the same thing on the other side. So now that we've created a nice soft contour to my eyes, I wanna kick it up just a little bit more. I'm going to take another fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take the deepest shade on the palette, which is this one right here on the outer corner, and I'm just gonna start to blend this on the outer corner of my crease. I think adding this second color into the crease, especially a shade that is a lot deeper than the first color, really, really helps to add that definition to our eyes. And you're really able to create beautiful shapes with your eyes using these colors and these tones. So to finish framing the bottom of my eyes, I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna pick up that same shade and really lightly just run it under my eyes, kind of predominantly staying towards the outer corner of my eyes. 
I also want to stay really, really tight to my lash line. I don't want it to be too smoky or too drop down. I want it to stay really nice and compact really close to my lash line. I'm also using my pencil brush to connect that bottom shadow to my crease. So I'm almost lightly just kind of pressing and connecting around the corner of my eye. Just like tucking it under, if you will, to make sure it looks nice and connected. So I curled my lashes off of camera since my eyeshadow was done and I'm gonna move on to mascara. Before I apply mascara, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplify Primer. I really like this brush because it does look like a comb. So with applying a primer, you don't want anything that's gonna to be too clumpy. So this is a really nice brush to really allow the product to go on the lash, but at the same time, provide a really nice separation to the lash. And my lashes are so bald. I'm really, really looking forward to this primer really, really kicking up the drama to my lashes. For my mascara today, I'm gonna to be using this CoverGirl Flourish Mascara by Lash Blast. This has a really similar brush as that primer in the sense of the brush being more like a comb and kind of spiky. Um, it is a smaller brush and it does have a nice little bend which will just allow you to really wiggle that product through your lashes. I'm gonna start at the root of my lash and just wiggle that product up. And I can really, really see the density to my lash because of that primer. They look nice and thick. And I'm just really, really, really being careful because it is the worst when you get mascara on your eyelid or on your bottom lashes or anything like that. So I like to make sure that I am working that brush really, really carefully from the root wiggling that product up. I'm also gonna be using this Flourish Mascara for my bottom lashes. Especially for my bottom lashes, I really appreciate a brush like this because it's not overwhelming and big. It just really allows for my bottom lashes to pop. I like to just wiggle that product and almost like comb down. I love this color of the packaging too, by the way. I really think bottom lashes make such a huge difference. I think it really opens up the eyes. And I mean, this eye compared to this one, we're definitely, definitely feeling this one a lot more. I think it's called the Flourish Mascara because it allows you to step up your lash game and flourish your glam. Moving on to brows, I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Soft Brown. I love that it has a spoolie on the end. Any brow pencils with spoolies are great. They're good in my book. And I'm just gonna use it to groom through my brow. I just got them done today, so they don't need too much work. But I like to just kind of comb through them just to have them lay nice and just kind of get them into place, get them into formation. I'm gonna take the other side. I love how small it is because you really are able to mimic the appearance of brow hair. What I'm gonna do is I really want my brows to stay nice and natural looking. My brows are mostly sparse right in here where my arch is and then a little down in here. And I always extend my tail, so I'm gonna use this pencil to lightly just kind of mimic hair strokes to really make it look like my brows are nice and full. And once I've applied product to my brows, I like to go back in with a spoolie just to kind of brush through them, soften up any harsh lines, any harsh edges just to give them a really nice natural look. Now that my brows and my eyes are done, I'm gonna move on to my lips. I'm really excited to be using these brand new CoverGirl Exhibitionist lipsticks. They launched 48 shades in three different finishes. Everything from demi matte and creamy and metallics, and they also launched eight lip liners. For my lips, I'm gonna be using shade 205 Caramel Nude. It's the most beautiful, perfect, nude toned lip liner. I like to use something that's kind of along the lines of my lips, but slightly deeper, just to give them a little bit more definition. So I'm gonna start with this first. And as you guys can see, it's pretty spot on with my actual lip, but again, like I said, it's slightly deeper, so it's just gonna create a really nice pout, a really nice um, defined look, if you will. I love how creamy these are. They glide on so nicely. And the lipstick that I'm gonna be using is in the shade 435, which is Streaker. This is their Demi Matte formula. 
Look at how stunning this is. And tell me this isn't me. This has my name written all over it. They're so creamy, which is always nice when a lipstick just glides onto the lips and you're not feeling like it's pushing and it's tugging. Um, and as far as the finish goes, it is a demi matte, so it's not super, super flat where it's uncomfortable and dry looking, but it is not super shiny and really opaque. I love the shade, I think it looks so pretty. I think that this lip liner with this lipstick combined created a really nice combo, so I'm definitely throwing these in my makeup bag. Now that my lips are on, I'm gonna swatch a couple more shades for you guys, just to show you guys the variation in finishes and a few of my favorite shades. The first lipstick that I'm gonna swatch is Lipstick 450. It is a demi matte and the shade is called Worthy. It is a beautiful pinky red tone. Next is Lipstick 265 Romance Mauve and this is a beautiful creamy nude tone. I love how mauve it is, but it also has a really beautiful, almost like purple undertone that will look so beautiful on every complexion. Next we have Lipstick 240 Caramel Kiss and it is the most beautiful peachy nude. It is a cream lipstick, so it's nice and shiny. Next we have 255 Tempting Toffee, which is also a cream lipstick and it's more on the brown side, but still a really nice beautiful nude. Next is 225 Dulce de Leche, which is also a cream lipstick. This is probably the most nude out of the cream series. This would look beautiful on really light to medium complexions. And if you're more medium to deep, I would definitely use this with a lip liner. Next, I'm gonna swatch some of my favorite metallic shades, starting with lipstick 510. This one is called Call Me, and it is a gorgeous pink metallic. It almost has like silver pearls in it, so on the lips, it just looks super reflective and really pretty and sparkly. Next is the shade Can't Stop, which is also a really beautiful pinky mauve with beautiful silver pearls. And lastly, I'm gonna swatch 525 Ready or Not, which is also a beautiful metallic finish. It's a beautiful pinky red with beautiful pearls in it. As you guys can see, all of these lipsticks that I swatched are absolutely stunning. I love the different textures and how creamy and reflective these lipsticks are. I can tell right away that they're super opaque, so a little is gonna go a long way. I definitely recommend that you guys check these out and pick some up. Now, the last thing that we are going to do is we are going to add a little bit of glow to this skin. I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Palette, and just by looking at it, it's super beautiful. I have this light beaming from the back and the pearls just look so stunning. I'm gonna be using the lightest shade in the palette, which is this one right over here. I'm gonna be just taking a fluffy brush and dipping into my product. And I'm lightly just gonna run it and hit my cheekbones with it where I want my highlight to really pop. Ooh. I know you guys see that highlight. I love when people think that affordable makeup or drugstore makeup can't be just as intense or as poppin' as high-end stuff, but I think this palette and CoverGirl proved everyone wrong. gonna apply some on the forehead uh, you guys already know what time it is and I'm also gonna take a smaller brush and apply some of that highlight down the bridge of my nose I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it out I'm going to add a little bit on the tip of my nose just love the way that highlighting the tip of the nose, how it just really just pulls. I don't know, I, there's just something about it that I really, really love. Just blending it out with my finger a little bit. So what I typically do is after I apply my highlight, I'll go back in with whatever brush I use for my bronzer. And I just kind of just go over where I applied the bronzer, just to make sure that none of my highlight is kind of falling down into my bronzer because when we think of highlight and the product being reflective, it really bounces light off. And the bronzer is gonna create that dimension and that contour and that definition. So I wanna make sure that they're not kind of, you know, mixing into each other too much. 
So now that my look is complete, the last thing that I'm going to do is to spray my face with this CoverGirl Look Lockup Setting Spray. I'm just going to hold it a few inches away from my face and just give this a spritz and a go. I'm really extra with this, you guys. Like, I spray a lot, as you guys can see. All right, guys, and that pretty much completes this makeup look. I want to thank CoverGirl again for partnering with me on this video. This is actually the first time that I've done a full face just using one brand, and I'm really glad that it was CoverGirl. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you learned a thing or two. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys thought about this look, what you guys think about these products. I definitely, definitely recommend that you guys go and pick them up because they're super affordable and the performance is great. If you're not already, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and all that jazz, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.